Uh, this is just going to be a quick example of uh, how to use the offset wizard beatmap uh, in the editor to actually get a visual timing of how early or late you're hitting. Uh, in this, my universal offset is zero. Um, I'm probably going to be hitting early, but yeah. Uh, rule of thumb as well is that I like to do is start on the third tick and then hit close your eyes and then start tapping uh, to every other tick. Uh, make sure that you close your eyes. So you're going to hit F3, uh, go to edit. Uh, at the bottom down here, there's a button that says test. So I'm going to click on that. Oops. So is, before I do that, uh, if I hit play here, you will hear and see. So it is hitting at a set interval. If you watch the note at the top up here, it's every other white line. Uh, so I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna make sure I'm all the way at the start. I'm gonna hit test. Uh, before I go anywhere, if you, before I actually start notice up here, it says three milliseconds late. If I hit really early, like, I'm, I'm abruptly hitting really early. It says right here. I'm doing this on purpose. Make sure that this is why you close your eyes. So, all right, I'm gonna start for real. So notice if I look here, it says I'm hitting an average of 12 milliseconds early. So 16 is what it shows there. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that 16 milliseconds. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna go back into the options here. And I'm gonna set this to 16 plus 16. If, it's, if you're hitting late, you would do negative 16. So I'm going to go back in here. F3, edit. I'm pretty tired, uh, so I don't know if I'll hit on time. But what I'll do now is I will line it back up. Do the same thing. So right here, I'm hitting 10 milliseconds late. Uh, mine is because I'm tired, but make sure you do this when you're awake, you're playing well, and you're like guaranteed to be hitting at the right time. Uh, and you can use these numbers to dial it in. So since I was 10 milliseconds early, uh, what you would do then is you would go over back into your offset, and I'm just gonna move this back to like six. Since I was at 16, I'm gonna just get rid of 10 seconds. Go in here again. Do the same thing. Oops. So eighteen milliseconds early. This can take a lot of time to do. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to repeat this until you get it to a point where you're comfortable. Uh, you can also use the editor uh, to find a map that you're playing and get an idea of how early or late you are. So I'm just going to play whatever this is. Oh, this is horrible. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hit test. And voila. So notice here, uh, oh wait, hold on. Sure. So I've been hitting 16 milliseconds late. Uh, so as a result, I could use this then and go back and adjust it more if there's a song that you know and like.
Um, one thing that's very important that I did not do this entire video, uh, make sure your effect volume is at zero. That's extremely important because you want to be tapping to the sound of the text. You don't want to hear your hit sound. All right, so right here, I've been hitting an average of two milliseconds late. Uh, so without my hit sound being so loud, uh, I'm much more accurate. Uh, it's a very important part. Uh, anyways, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just feel free to let me know.